Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Lady C has highlighted a very obvious, prominent observation that I think we all recognised as soon as Meghan Markle got the royal seal of approval. As soon as she got her clutches on that Duchess title, she became unrecognisable and she completely changed. I would go as far as to say that Meghan Markle actually switched up and completely changed her tune way before she actually got married. We're talking about when she actually officially cut her father off and out of her life. As soon as she knew that she was even going to get married to Prince Harry, she decided to start chopping people out of her life. Now, Meghan Markle has systematically done this. she done it to her second husband, Trevor Engelson. She sent the rings back in the post and she has not exactly changed her tune. It's just become more prominent with the amount of fame that she has amassed since marrying Harry. So Lady C has basically recently gone on record saying that Meghan has been labelled as unrecognisable from the woman Prince Harry first met. And of course she's unrecognisable from the woman Prince Harry met. This woman wasn't someone who was extremely famous or extremely successful or extremely prominent when she initially met Harry. Since getting Harry in her clutches, she of course began to shapeshift and change. Even though we know that what Meghan Markle was has always been ever present. Meghan Markle and Harry first met back in 2016 when they started dating. However, royal commentator Lady C. Colin Campbell has called out the former actress for being completely different nowadays. The outspoken socialite was referencing what the Duchess of Sussex's father, Thomas Markle, had said about her. Meghan is estranged from her dad, who often appears in the press to speak about their relationship. Back on August 12th, Thomas said he thought Meghan had changed since meeting Harry. Appearing on GB News, he told Dan Wooten, she has changed, she's not the daughter that I once knew. My daughter was much more giving, a loving person than she is now. One of Meghan's biggest critics, Lady C, has now called her out for being completely different to the woman Prince Harry met. She said, the Meghan Markle Prince Harry met and the Meghan Markle that swans around now are two completely different beings. We can take her father's word for it, that she is completely unrecognisable now, but we don't have to take only his word for it. We can take the word for anyone who has known her for any length of time with one or two notable expectations she is not the person she was as soon as she got royal it all went to her head and of course she's talking about her ego but i would argue as far as to say Meghan markle always had a big ego and this is something that her best friend pretty actually revealed to the press when she was interviewed in 2018 regarding Meghan Markle dropping her family, dropping her sister Samantha and her brother Thomas Markle Jr. And she said that as soon as Meghan Markle got onto suits, she changed. She began to become less available. She'd counsel on them for friendly outings, going to restaurants. When she was in the restaurants, she'd act shifty. She would look left, right and centre and act as though everyone was rushing up to her for an autograph. And to be honest, they actually wasn't. So Meghan Markle pretty much always had an inflated ego. And as soon as she got onto suit, she ditched her ex-husband, Trevor Engelson, and then she quickly ditched her peer group. That included Prudy, who was her high school best friend. So this is someone who always underneath the surface of it all was trying to have more, was 
trying to get more, was trying to climb up the social ladder. And she moves through people. She ditches people. She doesn't hold on to her old relationships. She doesn't have time to hold on to her old relationships because she's constantly desperate to get up to the next level. And a lot of A-listers in Hollywood can see this coming. However, Lady C did not give any more examples of those knowing Megan making these remarks. In the past, several of Megan's friends have also come out to defend her and her actions. Tennis player Serena Williams spoke out in March following Meghan and Harry's interview with Oprah. This came as Meghan made claims about how difficult she found it adjusting to life in the royal family. Posting on Instagram about Meghan, she wrote, she teaches me every day what it means to be truly noble. Her words illustrate the pain and cruelty she's experienced. And of course, Serena Williams was pretty much pulling out her cape for Meghan Markle and deciding to save the day for Meghan Markle. And I do believe that when her marriage comes to an end with Harry, this is exactly what Harry is going to feel like. During an interview with the Daily Mail, Nikki Preedy shared how her friendship with Meghan turned sour because of the entitlement that she felt. And she said, even by season two of Suits, she was turning down lunch with us because she said she'd be recognised. I felt if I questioned her behaviour, I'd be left on the outside. Sometimes the truth is not always what you want to hear. Her time became increasingly important. When she was in town, she'd want you to drop everything to see her. If I was busy, it would be why don't you want to see me? I'm here. Let's hang out. There were instances when I felt she developed a sense of entitlement because she was on the show, added Preedy. She went on to say that she eventually realised Megan was no longer the friend I'd grown up with anymore. If you rubbed her up the wrong way, she'd make it known with the silent treatment. There was a time when we were about seven and I'd collected a bunch of insects. She didn't want to play with them. We spent two hours sitting at opposite ends of the garden with our backs to each other in silence, Prudy went on to say. I'd always be the first to apologise. I just wanted to be besties again. She was stubborn. She digs her heels in the ground. There was another interview that Preedy done, which was also quite telling. And this involved her relationship with Trevor Engelson. According to Preedy, she and Megan were inseparable and like sisters most of their lives. Megan even tapped her to be her maid of honour when she married Engelson in 2011. We'd been like sisters since we were two years old. I knew she'd always wanted to get married, Preeti recalled. It was such a moving wedding. I started crying the moment I saw her in her dress. We had the ceremony on the beach. It was so beautiful to watch, beautiful to be a part of. They each wrote their own vows. They loved each other so much. Meg had just finished her first series on Suits. It was a big part for her, her first full-time role. She'd hustled for years to get there, so that was a huge thing. Trevor was so supportive. He travelled back and forth from LA. There was a lot of Skyping and FaceTiming going on. It was an extremely exciting time. What came to light after Trevor and I spoke ended my friendship with Megan. Prudy said, all I can say now is that I think Megan was calculated, very calculated in the way she handled people and relationships. She is extremely strategic in the way she cultivates circles of friends. Once she decides you're not a part of her life, she can be extremely very cold. It's this shutdown mechanism that she has. And that was regarding the way in which Megan ditched her ex-husband, Trevor. So Preedy also went on to say, after the wedding, 
it was like a light switched off. There's Megan before fame and Megan after fame. And there you have it, guys. So with all that being said, I will be back with another video. Bye, guys.